Hey, what's up guys? It's BMT115 here, and now we are going to see the official Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay video. We have waited two years for this video. It's about time we're finally going to get it. Let's hope they get fishing, alligators, um, interiors, God forbid, Rockstar. You make another empty open world like GTA. Uh, anyway, without further ado, let's fucking do this. <laughs> They'll probably hang you, buddy. <laughs> you coming, buddy? Yeah, Dutch. In the late 1800s, America was evolving, on its way to becoming the most powerful country in the world. New immigrants arrived, thriving outposts became towns, and civilization was spreading rapidly into the huge, wild, and lawless frontier. With Red Dead Redemption 2, Rockstar Games aims to create a living world that's not simply open, but deeper. Damn. Come on, pretty boy. More interactive and detailed than ever. Pretty boy. Combining action, storytelling, we need to get those people warm and fed, and gameplay in new ways. As you live, ride, and fight to survive as an outlaw in a notorious gang. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. <laughs> oh, the graphics look so good. Introduction. The game is an attempt to capture this pivotal moment when the age of outlaws was ending and the modern world was born. There is a huge world to explore, set across a range of America's heartland and frontier. From harsh mountain trails and dense forests, to untamed swamplands and sweeping deserts, rugged livestock towns, to modernizing cities, and much more. All populated with a diverse cast of characters from turn-of-the-century life. Now shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. You play as Arthur Morgan, a trusted senior gun in the Vanderling Gang, a band of outlaws and outcasts on the run from the pressures of civilized life. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. Each time they are forced to flee an area, the gang sets up a camp as a base. This is where gang members eat, sleep, perform chores, play games, and share stories. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was, and he decided I was going to be hanged for it. These are the people Arthur calls family, and you will get to know each gang member over the course of the game. So, you save the silly bastard's life, then you and him go robbing sheep. Helping the camp with food and supplies will keep morale high, while spending time with other gang members can reveal new secrets, fun things to do, and opportunities for mischief. How right. about you and me go and redistribute some he has a red handle on In his and out of camp, sick. the world is alive and responds to the player. Well, ain't this a rare treat? And your guns aren't the only way to interact with the environment. Call out so to a passing cool. rider. That's a nice horse. Talk yourself into trouble with a local tough guy. Clear out. Or out of trouble with a town sheriff. Or intimidate a witness into silence. That's cool. And more. Keep your mouth shut. You're a dead friend. You don't want to involve yourself with this. Confrontations can be escalated or diffused. Take it easy. Do what you want. I don't care. You can form friendships. Oh, a bear trap. Or make enemies as you choose. You killed my cousin, you sick son of a bitch! Your actions have consequences, and it's up to you to decide just how honorable Arthur is. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? <laughs> Shooting and fighting have both been radically improved I can see that. to make combat deep and engaging at all times. Each weapon has unique characteristics with realistic Cold. reload and recoil that always keeps the player grounded and connected to the action Double in a gunfight. In a similar way, the bond with your horse is crucial and changes based on your treatment of the animal. Hold still, girl. Some breeds are better suited for certain tasks. 
Got a fella been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. Your saddle and saddlebags can store That's extra cool. weapons, along with supplies and animal carcasses that you pick up while out roaming or hunting. So that's like Witcher Over 3. time, the bond between you and your horse will grow, making them easier to control in tense situations. Yeah, he's a great horse, aside from when the devil got him. A rich and varied ecosystem thrives in the world, full of predators, alligator, prey, and scavengers. Ooh, that was cool. All smart and sometimes deadly. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Hunting helps the camp or earns you money. Wound an animal, and you'll have to track them down. Animal pelts and other items you find can be traded for cash to use at general stores, gunsmiths, saloons, and elsewhere. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. This is a world that is rich in depth and detail. That looks nice. Louisiana's All back. designed to be explored on horseback or on foot. As you live the fateful journey of a gang of outlaws on the run across America. In the next gameplay video, we'll look at missions, activities, enemy Fishing's gangs, back. robberies, other things to do, and much more, including the evolution of sharpshooting using the Deadeye system. Looks a lot more streamlined. All right. So there's going to be a part two to this? This is going to be freaking sick. Well, guys. That was Red Dead Redemption 2's gameplay video, and it looks pretty freaking awesome. So, I will see you guys in the next gameplay video, Outlaws to the End.